Hey everyone, Yiri here and in this video I will explain you how you can import and manage design system assets into Supernova. Now, what you see here is just my icon library. I have some icons that are of regular size and then also icons that are of tiny size. And I would like to have them in Supernova so I can then use them maybe inside the documentation, maybe inside my export pipelines. Now, what I would have to do if I'm importing the tokens or maybe the components, I would take this file, just copy paste the link. You have seen this in some previous tutorials. So let's just do this and let's see what we get imported. Uh, because those assets that I have in Figma are actually already published. I have went ahead and published the file. And as you can see here, uh, we have the icons published inside the team library as well. Uh, same with colors, same with typographies. So let's see what happens uh, inside Supernova. Uh, the import will process all the components and all the tokens. And as you can see, it does say 40 components imported successfully and also some styles. So let's see. We have the tokens, which is correct. Um, we have the styles here and we have uh, the color and uh, text styles defined. So this works. And we also have uh, 40 components uh, imported. So as you can see, each of the icons is actually defined as a component as well. So it can be easily reused inside Figma, uh, but then also maybe so it can be used as a real component in a code. Maybe if you define it as a, a React component that you can just reuse. Now, uh, let's see what we have imported inside Supernova uh, for in terms of the components and in terms of the assets. So going to components, yes, I can see them and it does, sh it does show the tiny and the regular icons. So that's correct. But if we look inside the assets, which is uh, what this video is all about, we see that there are still no assets yet, which is very weird, right? Because I clearly know that those are my assets that I would like to treat as icons so I can maybe download them in specific formats. So how do I tell Supernova that I need something to be treated as assets? Well, it is very easy. Uh, the only thing that I have to do is to just select all my icons and then uh, scroll down in the right bar of Figma and make the assets exportable. Now, if I make them exportable and I can do just uh, all of this in bulk, uh, then Supernova will know that those components are also to be treated as assets and they will participate in your asset library. Now, there is one small tiny issue with this and this is a small quirk of Figma. So, what we need to do is to publish this change into my library. I need to let everyone know that this icon is now exportable. So, so Supernova picks it up. But if I go to libraries, you will see that they are published and up to date, there was no change. For some reason in Figma, when you make this exportable, it actually doesn't register as something that, uh, that was changed. So what I have to do is I actually have to change one single aspect of anything that I have inside the design system. So to change propagates. Now, if I would be adding icons, that's not a problem. Uh, that would be just a new icon. I would pick this change uh, or I can rename this, but, um, and, and that probably would be the best choice. So what I will do is uh, I will just change this into maybe a worker. Of course, you will not do this in your production library you'll probably just introduce like a, a new empty icon just so everything gets picked up or, you know, something else. Now it properly says changes not yet published, which is true. So I can go into the library. It says there is just one change, uh, which is fine for now. I will propagate the change, but it will actually alongside it, pick all the other changes that I made into the exportable status. So now I can go back to Supernova I can just uh, force the update of the file that I previously uh, imported and wait a little bit uh, while it processes the new icons. And now the import finished. So you can actually see that it says 40 components imported successfully and there has been 40 icons updated, which is the update that we have created, which is that we flagged the, uh, the components to also be uh, treated as icons. 
and sure enough if we are in the assets tab you can see that we have now tiny icons and regular icons and they are treated as assets so i can for example download them um, in supernova you have option to download uh, all the assets that you have uploaded into the design system manager um, in different formats you can export uh, using png or svg or pdf in multiple scales of course you can also export in bulk so similarly to figma uh, if you want to export this icon in multiple formats you can do this but one of the nicest things about this library is that you can also uh, download all of this at the same time and you can further use it inside the documentation about the documentation assets there is a specific video for this but just to show you that you can truly download all the icons what i would just do i would say uh, maybe download all the assets in this uh, specific category or download all the assets in general that I have um, inside my design system. So I will select uh, download all the assets, maybe just download the smallest one or maybe download them as SVGs, that would be the easiest. Uh, I can force the download which will prepare the, uh, the pack of the icons and once this is complete uh, you will receive a zip file which will contain all the assets properly named and properly formatted so you can use it further down in your developer or design pipeline. So this is how you can import assets into Supernova and this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.